Right here. Watch, here comes the air bubble. Absolutely. More companies are coming. More jobs are happening here. Uh, they're all high paying, high tech, you know, engineering type jobs. And so the local economy has certainly seen uh, that boost over the past two years. And this really opens the door. This launch proves to be as successful as it appears it has gone. Uh, it opens the door for bigger payloads, you know, satellites that are launched up by satellite companies to geosynchronous orbit at 22,300 miles above us. Uh, those are a certain size based based on how strong and powerful the rocket can be to deliver them into space. So if you've got one of these Falcon Heavies that can take up the equivalent of a 737 airplane, well, you can possibly build even larger satellites to accomplish even more global watch. Look at that car picture. That's incredible. Phil, let's watch it again and, and just listen to the sights and sound on, on, on location. soon here um, there's nothing official planned but we are hoping with the performance of the Falcon Heavy here in the past 30 minutes that Elon Musk is going to come out and uh, express some elation here he was telling us yesterday he was not all that stressed out actually kind of giddy and happy and felt confident his team had done everything they possibly could to ensure a launch but never before has a rocket with 27 super powerful engines blasted off all at once and there were some serious risks that these engines could impact uh, one of the other boosters and then perhaps cause a epic explosion on the launch pad which would have been devastating setting back launches by about six to nine months or up in space uh, but so far everything just looks golden on today's demonstration flight fantastic it was a lot of fun to watch phil you're the best we'll be back in yep. just a few minutes if there are live speeches from there or whatever but i want to take you to dow to the corner of wall and broad as the man neil cavuto would say and all the news is good